In this tutorial, we're going to do a little bit of lighting and also show you how to set up an environment image if you'd like to do that. So I'm going to just jump back into this project and kind of the area where I'm going to be um, working on is uh, this guy right here, the um, world properties. So and, and I actually already kind of changed something. So if you want to make it kind of more of a darker scene, then you just change that color to um, kind of a, a black on there. So the next thing I want to kind of talk about is right now uh, this emitter or this light source is really what's causing the light and it's not necessarily this bloom effect which that bloom effect we we added with emissions um, by changing it to emissions and then we had to come over to the properties and we just clicked on that to get that but as you can see when I click on that bloom it still doesn't affect the light and really the only thing that's affecting that light source is this spotlight that I have and I kind of want to have it more be directed from the Sun and not from this light that I have so to play with that and to manipulate that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and um, stick it right in the middle of the Sun so I'm going to throw it down in there and and as soon as I do that you'll notice there goes all the light so those planets are that have some light on them they disappear completely and the reason for that is now this light source is being blocked by this object um, so now I've got a new problem so to to fix that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this Sun here and I need to go into the textures of that Sun and if I go down uh, to settings down here and then go to shadow mode I need to just take that off so click none and now I'll start to see that light source show up uh, it's not doing a whole lot and I'm getting kind of this, this um, eclipse or the shadow from the earth now we're on Jupiter so that's something that uh, if I move those around I can play with it um, but I'm also going to intensify that light source so if I press Z and go into wireframe mode and just click on that light source so it's a little bit easier to select it and then once I do that then I'm going to go back out into render mode and click on the light source and right here is my power so maybe if I bump that up maybe another thousand and see what that does uh, and, and you're just going to kind of play with that until you get the result that you're you're looking for so um, I'm going to kind of stick with it there and later on I'll, I might offset some of these planets and do some other things but that's how you're going to get that to to work the other thing I want to play with a little bit is maybe the background uh, and so I'm going to jump back over here so I, I played with the initial color of it but maybe you want to put an image for a bunch of stars and the hardest part about this is finding an image that is going to be decent um, and that's what I've kind of been trying to play with and find but um, I've already downloaded one and the image that I'm going to basically apply is in my textures folder and um, I've got this space scene so this is a tough thing because um, unless it's a super high resolution image it doesn't work very well and you'll see that because this one actually isn't that great of an image so I'm gonna go ahead and I've got the little node I'm gonna click on and for this you're gonna do environment texture is what this is called so I'll click on environment texture everything starts freaking out so I'm gonna go over here to open and then go into my images and click on that and as soon as I do that there it goes it's everywhere but as you can see if the texture is not very high quality it really doesn't look very good so um, that's that's the biggest challenge is finding an image that if uh, that you want to use that still looks decent uh, if I don't like that one I'm just gonna click on the X and I could go over to my environment textures and go to remove and that will just bring it back to normal I'm going to try it with one more and then see if what that does. So I'm going to click on it and go to environment textures again. And I had another image in here 
that I'm going to try. So let's try maybe this one. See what that does. And yeah, that one's actually worse. So let me try one more. Uh, let's see that one right there. Yeah, that one's more probably a would be good if I had a landscape and on there. But it's kind of a cool effect if you can find the right texture. But as you can see, even this one's getting a little pixelated. Um, so if you're not satisfied with the one that you find, then I would just end up taking it back off and removing it and just stick with the dark and you can maybe put some stars in some other way. So.